Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rezan. Oh, this is another episode of the world famous the universe. We are the best podcast on one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves. We are coming to you live today. <clears throat> today, we have another jam packed show. <clears throat> now, today, we are going to talk about something important. Everything we talk about in this show is important, but today is going to talk about something important, and that is money. We're talking money, man. Money. You need lots of money. No, you don't. Actually, you don't. The best part about creating a business online, the best part about creating a business, you know, these days is you do not need a million dollars. Unless you want to buy a McDonald's franchise, which I suggest you probably would not be listening to this show. If you had a million dollars to start a McDonald's franchise, you'll be out buying land for that McDonald's franchise. But, uh, you know, uh, for the rest of us, Joe Blows and Susie Q's, we are going to talk about a little money. We're going to talk about what you need. To get started when it comes to this online stuff. Now. Money is. Listen. Money is important. But money is fickle. Sometimes you have a lot of it. Sometimes you have none of it. Okay. It comes and it goes. But. When you. If you start. You know, this is the best thing about in the times we're in now with the inflation and everything going, I highly suggest that you get into the game and you get started on operating a business for yourself or something for yourself. You know, does it have to be a business? Technically, no. But, you know, if you want to be, you know, some, whatever you want to start, you know, we can call it a bit. We'll call it a business. We'll cut it out. We'll call it a business. But it's a good t- It's the best time right now. To start a business, you know, the best time to start businesses are in times of like recessions and <clears throat> financial, uh, you know, wears and tears because a lot of people right now they get scared, they get nervous, they shut down. But you and I, we just keep going through the storm and you'll come out clean on the other side, you know what I'm saying? But if money, if you think you need a lot of money, then I will, I will tell you, you are sadly mistaken. Okay, and I say that because listen, and let's say you want to start a YouTube channel and you don't have a camera, you don't need a camera. All you need, the best thing that you need if you want to start a YouTube channel is to make sure that you have quality sound. You know, the video can be, you know, of course, you know, you want your video to be good, but you can have the video be a little bit choppy and you can still get away with having a YouTube channel, as long as your sound is good. And there are different ways around that. You can buy a microphone before your phone for like 20 bucks. And then you could record yourself and be use the microphone while you record yourself and you can start uploading on YouTube. And now eventually you will earn enough money to graduate and get yourself a camera. You know what I mean? And you might even graduate and get yourself a couple of cameras, however you want to do it, you know? Now, they have all these people, and of course, nowadays, all these people, they do have different equipment and all that kind of stuff, but that doesn't mean there's no, there's no space for you. There's always space for you, sir, okay? Space for you, madam. There's space for all of us, okay? We all know how you, we all know how you can gain an audience, you know? Um, but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time, but right now, we're talking about money. You can get microphones for twenty dollars. You can get an iPhone and an Android. I have you put, got one in your pocket right now. So if you got one in your pocket right now, you already have money. You know. Let's say you want to. Let's say you want to be a writer. You know, I took. I have a podcast episode. Writing on Medium, fifty bucks a year. That's four dollars a month. You can easily make that. You can easily make that money back writing if you just keep if you just start writing on a regular basis you'll make that money because eventually you'll get better at the article writing you get better at it you get better at it and you can start making money there's people on there that make seven thousand dollars a month ten thousand dollars a month five thousand dollars a month you know 
I've made a few bucks, you know. I haven't made seven thousand dollars, but I made I made a few bucks, you know, and uh I got I've been able to recruit my money. So that's cool, <laughs> you know what I mean? And then put some a few more dollars in my pocket. So that's great. And uh, that's that that's a way to make money. And that's also a good way if you don't have a website to use their platform that you can save up money and then you can make the money and create your website, you know? And there are different ways. And let's say you want to build a website. You can go to Bluehost. I do Bluehost. Uh, I was an affiliate for Bluehost. And um, you can build a website for like, I built a website for no more than 50, how much did it cost me? 50, $50, $60. And then I paid somebody a hundred bucks to do the website. So overall, it was less than two hundred dollars, and I had a website. It was a pretty nice looking website, you know. I had to take it down because I wanted to do more different things with it, and I wanted to build a new website. So that's a whole nother story. But for less than two hundred dollars, I was able to build a website. Now listen, people. A hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. I know sometimes, like. When I was 16, it sounded like a boatload of money, but it's not. You can easily come up come up with that money. Uh, my cousin does DoorDash every week. Every week he makes like 150 bucks. You know, uh, you don't have a car, you can always rent a car. I did a lift for like a month once, and I rented a car. You know, and I was able to pay out pay the car pay the car rental, and I was able to put money in my pocket through the lift. You know, and uh, it was cool. So there's so many ways to you know get get some cash you know you don't have to spend a whole lot of money and uh you don't need a lot of money to get started you know and and i know people are going to tell you oh you won't need this equipment you need that equipment no you don't i mean when i started doing this podcast we was recording on the on the phone we was using a 15 dollar microphone i got from amazon i think it was 15 in between 15 and 20 dollars that one broke and i got another microphone that i use when i'm you know, driving or whatever, um, microphone, but I, I have now I've upgraded to a AT2020 audio tech I, that I got from a company called sweetwater.com. You can always go check them out. And this microphone was like a hundred, two hundred dollars, maybe something like that. It's a good microphone, but there's always room to improve, you know, and I'm not done with re- improving my audio studio equipment, you know, and I'm just saying, but I st- where I started off with the with the podcast, and I've grown into the microphone, but I still use the phone microphone. You know, it still works and it's still good. You know, but and when I first did YouTube, I was doing it on my te- on my phone, and then I got a I got like what is it, Canon M50 uh, camera, and uh, it's pretty good actually, and. I need to start recording. I actually need to start recording. We got to get that going. But uh, that's a good camera. That's a good camera that I use for my YouTube videos and to take pictures of my uh, daughter. And it's very nice. And so those are just some things that I upgraded on. But there's so many ways around this whole money thing. You know, if you're thinking I need a million bucks or whatever, you don't need a million bucks to get started. You know, if you want to create some content, create content on your phone, create content, you know, on your you know, iPad, or use somebody else's iPad, or, you know, if you need money, you need to want to make some money, do do DoorDash, do Lyft, do, you know, eyes and end jobs, you know, just scrap up the money. And then once you start scrapping up the money, you'll see that it's not as bad as you think, you know. And once you start making money from this whole online thing, then you can trade off that other stuff, and then you can reinvest the money. I highly recommend you reinvest the money into your, back into your business, you know. It's just like now – going to start writing letters to people about copywriting so i tell people hey i'm a copywriter and you know this that and the other and start you know writing sending off mail and i thought to myself now i need a I'm, i need a p.o box not a P- yeah a p.o box so that way people can send me letters and stuff through to the p.o box so i want them to send it to my house so I, i'm going to because i as I told you before, I'll tell you again, one of the best books I've read about business is Gene Simmons, um, Me, Inc., okay? <laughs> he says, don't spend your money, you know, don't don't go borrowing money and all that kind of stuff, you know, sort of, you know, 
some of the stuff you can pay for yourself. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just going to take some of the money from the Anchor podcast, and I'm going to get a, you know, a PO box, and that's that's cool with me, you know, and it's. Like I said, it's it's easy to, you know, I'm gonna take that money, the podcast money that I made, get a PO box, and that way I can start writing people letters. And then once you start making we we'll start making money with the we we'll start making more money through the copywriting and the appeal box will pay for itself, you know. And so it's just another investment and everything that you invest, um make sure that you use, you know, don't let the monies that you spend go to waste. Now, when you first get started, unfortunately, you might hit a you might hit a lick, you might hit a dead end on something, you know. Like let's say you buy a course, and you're like, oh, this course is kind of crap, you know. And um, it happens. But once you get better at figuring out what you what you want to do, where you want to go, then you will start keep keeping the money in your pocket, and you will spend less, and you will make more, and you will be happy. All right. But you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to get started, you know. And um, you know, don't max out credit cards and all that kind of nonsense, you know, sort of, you know, save up some money or, you know, make some money and just do it that way, you know. Maxing out credit cards is not the way to go, all right? And so go out there, hustle up on a few bucks, you know, get your st- get your dream started, get started, and uh, get down the highway, all right? And so, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, we will be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves, but until then... My name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.